wire rope was invented by Wilhelm Albert, a German mining engineer, between 1831 and 1834. He developed them in order for work in the mines in the Harz Mountains. This rope replaced weaker natural fiber ropes, like hemp rope and manila rope, and weaker metal ropes, like chain rope. Over the years, engineers and manufacturers have created materials of all kinds to make wire rope stronger. Such materials include stainless steel, plow steel, bright wire, galvanized steel, wire rope steel, electric wire, and more. Today, wire rope is a staple in most heavy industrial processes. Wherever heavy duty lifting is required, wire rope is there to facilitate. Wire rope is strong, durable, and versatile. Even the heaviest industrial loads may be lifted with a well-made wire rope because the weight is distributed evenly among constituent strands. Wire rope is composed of as few as two solid metal wires twisted into a helix that forms a composite rope in a pattern known as laid rope. Larger diameter wire rope consists of multiple strands of such laid rope in a pattern known as cable laid. Manufactured using an industrial machine known as a strander, the wires are fed through a series of barrels and spun into their final composite orientation. In stricter senses, the term wire rope refers to a diameter larger than 9.5 millimeters with smaller gauges designated cable or cords. Initially wrought iron wires were used, but today steel is the main material used for wire ropes. Historically, wire rope evolved from wrought iron chains, which had a record of mechanical failure. While flaws in chain links or solid steel bars can lead to catastrophic failure, flaws in the wires making up a steel cable are less critical as the other wires easily take up the load. While friction between the individual wires and strands causes wear over the life of the rope, it also helps to compensate for minor failures in the short run. Strands are made by tightly twisting or braiding individual wire together. One strand could have anywhere between two and several dozen wire filaments depending on the necessary strength, flexibility, and weight capacity. Wire rope design. There are three basic elements of which wire ropes are composed. Wire filaments, strands, and cores. Manufacturers make wire rope by taking the filaments, twisting or braiding them together into strands, and then helically winding them around a core. Because of this multiple strand configuration, wire rope is also often referred to as stranded wire. Rope filaments, the first component, the filaments, are cold-drawn rods of metal materials of varying, but relatively small diameter. The second component, the strands, 
can individually consist of as few as two or as many as several dozen filaments. The last component, the core, is the central element around which strands are wrapped. Wire rope cores maintain a considerable amount of flexibility while increasing strength by at least 7.5% over the strength of fiber core wire ropes. Lay of a rope. The helical winding of the strands around the core is known as the lay. Ropes may be right-hand lay, twisting strands clockwise, or they may be left-hand lay, twisting strands counterclockwise. In an ordinary lay, the individual strands are twisted in the opposite direction of the lay of the entire rope of strands to increase tension and to prevent the rope from coming unwound. Though this is most common, Lang's lay has both the strands and the rope twisted in the same direction while alternate lays, as the name suggests, alternate between ordinary and Lang style lays. While alternative rope designs are available, the helical core design is often favored, as it allows a wire cable to hold a lot of weight while remaining ductile. Rope Customization There are many design aspects that wire rope manufacturers consider when they are creating custom wire rope assemblies. These include strand gauge, varies based on application strength, flexibility, and wear resistance requirements, wire rope fittings for connecting other cables, lay, splices, and special coatings. Specially treated steel cable and plastic coated cables, for instance, are common to many application-specific variations of wire rope such as push-pull cable assemblies used in transferring motion between two points. Multi-strand ropes are all more or less resistant to rotation and have at least two layers of strands laid helically around a center. The direction of the outer strands is opposite to that of the underlying strand layers. Ropes with three strand layers can be nearly non-rotating. Ropes with two strand layers are mostly only low-rotating. Materials, while they sometimes use other metals, like aluminum, nickel, copper, titanium, and even bronze for some applications, manufacturers primarily produce wire rope from steel. This is because steel is very strong and stretchable. Among the most common types they use are galvanized wire, bright wire, stainless steel, and cold-drawn steel. Of the wire rope steels, cold-drawn carbon steel wire is most popular. Although stainless steel wire rope is sometimes employed as well, stainless steel rope is most popular for its anti corrosive properties. Bright wire rope, a type of ungalvanized steel wire rope, is also popular. For added strength and durability, galvanized steel wire rope slash galvanized steel cables are a very popular choice. Galvanized aircraft cable, for example, is always a must in aerospace.
design considerations and customization. When choosing or designing a custom wire rope for your application, suppliers consider factors such as the environment in which the rope will function, required rust resistance, required flexibility, temperature resistance, required breaking strength, and wire rope diameter. To accommodate your needs, manufacturers can do special things like make your rope rotation resistant, color code your rope, or add a corrosion resistant coating. For instance, sometimes they specially treat and coat a cable with plastic or some other compound for added protection. This is particularly important to prevent fraying if the wire rope is often in motion on a pulley. Flemish eye, the end of a wire rope tends to fray readily and cannot be easily connected to plant and equipment. There are different ways of securing the ends of wire ropes to prevent fraying. The common and useful type of end fitting for a wire rope is to turn the end back to form a loop. The loose end is then fixed back on the wire rope. Termination efficiencies vary from about 70% for a Flemish eye alone to nearly 90% for a Flemish eye and splice to 100% for potted ends and swagings. A Flemish eye, or Dutch splice, involves in wrapping three strands. The strands need to be next to each other, not alternates, of the wire and keeping them off to one side. The remaining strands are bent around until the end of the wire meets the V where the unwrapping finished to form the eye. The strands kept to one side are now wrapped by wrapping from the end of the wire back to the V of the eye. These strands are effectively re-wrapped along the wire in the opposite direction to their original lay. When this type of rope splice is used specifically on wire rope, it is called a Molly Hogan, and by some, a Dutch eye instead of a Flemish eye.
Proper care for wire rope. To ensure that your wire rope quality remains high, you must regularly inspect them for wear and degradation. The right wire rope should be selected for a particular use. Watch out for performance impacting damage like rust, fraying, and kinks. To make sure that they stay in tip-top shape, you should also clean and lubricate them as needed. Check for this need as a part of your regular inspection. Rope care is about more than inspection. It's also about making an effort to use and store them properly every time you use them. For example, never exceed your rope's rated load and breaking strength. Doing so will not only cause the weakening of your cable, but it may even cause immediate breakage. In addition, always store your wire rope cable in a dry and warm area, away from those elements that could cause premature wristing or other damage. Finally, always carefully wind your wire rope when you're done with it so as to avoid kinks. If you follow all these tips and treat your wire rope assemblies well, they will reward you with a long and productive service life. Standards Standards for wire rope assemblies play a crucial role in ensuring safety, reliability, and performance across various industries. These standards provide comprehensive guidelines for the design, manufacturing, testing, and use of wire rope assemblies. By establishing specific requirements and specifications, they ensure consistency, quality control, and compatibility between different components. Wire rope assembly standards are instrumental in addressing critical factors such as minimum breaking strength, fatigue resistance, corrosion protection, and proper installation techniques. Compliance with these standards is vital to prevent accidents, failures, and injuries in applications where wire rope assemblies are subjected to high loads and harsh environments. Additionally, these standards define performance criteria quality control procedures, and testing methods, ensuring that wire rope assemblies meet the expected strength, flexibility, durability, and service life requirements. Adhering to wire rope assembly standards provides reliability by minimizing unexpected failures, downtime, and costly repairs or replacements. Furthermore, standards establish specifications for wire rope construction, dimensions, fittings, and end terminations, ensuring that wire rope assemblies from different manufacturers can be safely interchanged or combined without compromising performance. Standardized dimensions and tolerances simplify the selection, replacement, and maintenance of wire rope assemblies while facilitating compatibility with various equipment and components. Manufacturers adhere to these standards to ensure consistent quality, traceability, and conformity of their wire rope assemblies. Regular audits, inspections, and certifications based on recognized standards help verify compliance, instilling confidence in the reliability and performance of wire rope assemblies. Overall, wire rope assembly standards are essential in promoting safety, reliability, and performance in diverse industries, ensuring the integrity of these critical components.